Hi folks, today we will be talking about vending machines. They are called Jido Hanbaiki in Japan. Let's go! Japan has the highest density of vending machines worldwide. As of today, there are over 4 million vending machines installed across the nation. That is according to the report by the Association of Vending Machine Manufacturers of Japan. Which means one machine per every 30 people living in Japan. That's quite a lot. About 100 years ago, Japan started using vending machines which could dispense stamps, postcards, juice, gum or sake. Later on, it increased so much that at one point it passed 6 million machines. Due to the recent developments in technology, the total number is declining. As of today, there are 4,045,800 machines being utilized across the nation. Why are the vending machines so popular in Japan? We can list some reasons. Number one, Japanese people, busy people, they love convenience. When they're moving to the work, when they're going to school, when they're coming to home, they will just grab a drink on the street from the vending machines. Another reason could be the low rate of vandalism and property crimes. You can install vending machines anywhere, on the streets, in apartment blocks, on the countryside, or on top of mountain. They are always well maintained and they stay in safe condition. Top of Mount Fuji. Vending machines. Automation. Japanese people love automation. The shortage of working people and the high costs promotes vending machines. Also, the maintenance is flawless. The service providers can take care of the vending machines very well. The recycled materials, the drinks, the cash system, it's very efficient. The prices usually stay the same. I came to Japan 13 years ago. During that time, I was able to buy drinks from the vending machines for around 100 yen. Nowadays, in 2021, I can still buy similar drinks almost at the same price. Check this out, all the drinks are being sold at 50 yen only. These machines are installed inside the office and are not running for profit, but for the employees of the company. Another great thing about the vending machines is that they are available 24-7. In the middle of the night, when the shops are closed, the vending machines are lifesavers. Take a look, and guess what it is, a safe sex condoms. It costs you 500 yen. Late at night, you're in a hurry. Just come across this kind of vending machines and have your job done. Good. So, what types of vending machines are available in Japan? Drink vending machines, the most common one. You will immediately notice it when you arrive in Japan. Wherever you go, you will find one of them. Also, there are tons of other vending machines which can dispense snacks, ice cream, newspaper, capsule toys, instant noodles, hygiene products, condoms, cut fruits, what else, underpants, socks, anything you can imagine. So how about I go ahead and show you some numbers, numbers from the report, the most recent report by the Association of the Vending Machine Manufacturers. In the past decade, there is a big drop in the number of cigarette vending machines. In 2008, a new system was introduced called TASPO. It's an age verification card which is issued for the people who are aged 20 or over. And you have to ha have that card to be able to buy cigarettes from the vending machines on the street. That made the number 
drop drastically. Another reason could be the regulations about smoking. Japan gradually banned smoking in the public areas, on the street, in the restaurants and so on. That discouraged smoking. So let's see the number of tobacco vending machines in the recent years. What if all the vending machines in Japan come together and form a country? Which is a very silly example. But anyways, that will surpass the population of many countries in the world. For example, Georgia, Mongolia, Jamaica, Qatar, Slovenia. They will have less population than the number of vending machines in Japan. Whatever, that's a crazy idea. Forget it. Question is, can you import these vending machines to your country yes and i have seen many people doing it but you have to be careful all these machines are programmed for japanese coins and japanese paper money you have to do some programming to adjust it to your country's currency and the country's coin units how to own a vending machine in japan you can have your own vending machine or machines if you have land or if you have space, you can purchase or lease a vending machine from a supplier and get it installed on the street or in front of your house or inside your apartment or in your office. And you choose if you want to maintain and supply by yourself or you want everything to be handled by the companies. If you choose companies to do everything, they will come and fill up the drinks, they will come and collect money, they will do all maintenance, they will the monthly report and they will also take away the trash like uh, recycled bottles and the cans and you only make money and you will be responsible for the installation, the place as well as the electricity bill. You can purchase items from the vending machines with different methods. Of course, paying with the cash is the most common way. However, be careful with the different types of cash and coins which are not acceptable. Electronic payments such as QR code scanning, RFID devices, mobile apps, IC cards, credit cards are becoming more common in cities. However, vending machines in the countryside can be expected to have cash-only system. So one example, one experience I had. I parked my car in this prestigious shopping mall in Yokohama. It's just next to the tallest building of Yokohama, which is Landmark Tower. The parking lot vending machine, the machine in the parking lot, does not accept credit cards or some other common uh, payment methods. It only accepts cash and some IC cards, integrated circuit cards, which is very annoying. You come and do your shopping, you ha have lunch or dinner, and you want to leave, uh, but payment is limited to certain options. I have got magic stick in my hand and uh, sometimes you see people on the street uh, by the vending machines and they are checking underneath the machines with their umbrellas or with some sort of sticks and what they are doing is they are hunting for coins some dropped coins or some coins that people couldn't reach or couldn't pick up or they didn't have time to search for it whatever so Sometimes people are lucky and they can collect some of those coins. I think it's not illegal. Anyway, let's try. Let's try with our special one. Here we go. Okay, this time we were unlucky. We couldn't find any coin or anything. I think special, so we'll go and try another machine.
Oh wait, our hunting is ending with 20 yen. We can drop this 20 yen into the donation boxes in the convenience store. To demonstrate how densely the vending machines are installed, our colleagues Richard and Tadashi are going out to explore the streets around our office. They are given 10 minutes and let's see how many vending machines they can find in this short amount of time. Good luck Richard! Richard was able to count 33 vending machines in total. On the other side, Tadashi is kicking off. Tadashi discovered over 42 vending machines. I assume this experiment provided you with some ideas how densely the vending machines are available on Japanese streets. Here we have got some interesting vending machines in Tokyo. I'll try to buy some stuff and see how they look like. Let's go. First of all, the location is really interesting. It's quite creepy and uh, scary. And the most common thing is like these special boxes. It's wrapped in paper and had each each box has some story or message on it. If you can read Japanese. First stop, 500 yen. And stop AIDS. And the photo studio over here looks like from 1970s. And popcorn. It has microwave over here. It pops the popcorn there and puts it into paper cup. It will take out from this window. Yeah, we saw some interesting stuff here and I feel like I was scammed because the, the, the toy I selected didn't come out, this one. Instead, it just deducted my money and gave me the change, but there was no, nothing was coming out from this, this window. Yeah, by the way, if you are interested in the location of these vending machines, I will put it in the description, the exact link of the map, so you can check it out. Okay, folks, that's the end of the video. If you come to Japan, make sure you try these vending machines. Or if you already have experienced different types or different kinds of vending machines, please let us know in the comment. Stay tuned. <laughs>